is Niels. I'm the, the director for Screwed and I'm screening Screwed tomorrow at the Lovers Film Festival. Uh, the idea for Screwed came actually from my co-writer Tom Noragran, who I produced the movie with. Uh, it's partly based on his own life story, or the original idea at least. And uh, he approached me uh, and told me that he has this, uh, just this really tiny simple idea of a boy who meets a boy in the Finnish countryside and then uh, the movie becomes a uh, romantic drama. Sound somehow perfect because we don't have a lot of LGBT films in Finland and he was very very interested in showing or, or telling a story where where we don't have uh, the usual tragedies around that happens in LGBT stories, that it's, it's just a boy. And uh, that, that's, what, that's what attracted me to the story. And then when we started writing it, uh, we made sure that we would like capture the vibe of when we were 17 to 19 years old and put all of that into one movie. I can't speak for the whole LGBTQI community in Finland, but I can speak for the friend circle that, that I and, and Tom have. And the kind of a culture that we've been brought up in uh, is the kind of a culture that we wanted to imbue in this movie. So the, the point with, um, with how the, no, no, none of the characters really care if Miku is gay or not. Is, uh, is a reflection of our rea reality. I can't say that it's, it's like that all over in Finland, but we're kind of showing, in our own artsy way, we're showing a, what, it, what it should be, like what we think that, that it should be like, that nobody should care what your sexuality is. <clears throat> in a way, I'm not arrogant enough to say that, that I want to show people how things should be, but I'm not afraid to say that I think, that I personally think that things should be like that. Do you, do you understand the difference? I'm not trying to be patr patronizing. I'm trying to, to show what, what kind of a, you know, what the culture could be like. We've actually shown the movie more outside of Finland. We haven't even had our release yet back in Finland. <laughs> We've been very busy with the movie. Uh, we had our premiere in San Francisco uh, almost a year ago actually at Frameline and then I've been to Sydney and Lübeck and Amsterdam myself with the film but we screen in, screened like 50 times already. Well, We've mainly screened at, at like queer film festivals so the reception has always been pretty good. <laughs> The only not uh, strictly LGBT or queer film festival that we've screened at was uh, uh, Nordisch Filmdage, the Nordic Film Days in Lübeck. And there, um, I guess the, the reception there was a bit different in there, but it was more, uh, more like pe people were actually complaining a lot about how vulgar the characters are and uh, how strange espe especially the sister character is. But otherwise it's been um, generally extremely positive and good. And um, well, I've got to meet a lot of different people from the festivals. Um, like for example, in Sydney, a guy from South Africa came to me and told me that that uh, the world that, that's being displayed in the film is the kind of a world that he wants to live in. And it's stuff like that that we've encountered, like different personal experiences and stories from, from people. I think filmmakers usually try to shy away from, from that. They try to say that I'm trying not to be political, I'm trying not to be an activist, I'm just telling a story, but I think you you are making a statement and you are most definitely being extremely active in <laughs> saying something and, and through that being political. I'm, I'm not afraid of being that myself. I'm very okay with that. Although the core of, the, of this film 
of Be Hollow Screwed is that, that we want to tell, tell a simple story of a boy who meets a boy, you know. So it's not, um, at its heart, it's not political, but when it comes out and when people start watching it and reacting to it, it, it is definitely a statement. And uh, yeah.